In today's Morning Meds, we'll answer the question, should Christians go to therapy or counseling? So if you're ready, then let's go. Good morning. Good morning and welcome back to Morning Meds where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. And if you like what you see on Morning Meds, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that we can make it through this life together with the help of God. <laughs> Therapy at its core is a way to take action. It can be a way to identify and rectify past or present trauma and mental illness. Any therapist, no matter the therapist's personal beliefs, should be able to work with any person, regardless of the person's personal beliefs. Even though there are some very strong benefits of therapy and counseling, it is still considered taboo or a faux pas in the Christian faith. This is because for some believers, therapy can be considered a weakness or mean that there is failure in God. And more people than you think believe that going to therapy automatically means that you're crazy or mentally ill. As Christians, we try to use our too blessed to be stressed bumper sticker to cover up our past hurt, believing that it will hurt more to talk about it than to heal from it. Saying things like, I just gotta pray more or I'm gonna read my Bible. And that is great. But as you're flipping through those amazing, powerful words of scripture, be sure to stop by Proverbs and Ecclesiastes and read these scriptures. Proverbs 11 and 14. For lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. Proverbs 19 and 20. Listen to advice and accept discipline, and at the end you will be counted among the wise. Proverbs 12 and 15. The way of fools seem right to them, but the wise listen to advice. Proverbs 24 and 6, surely you need guidance to wage war, and victory is won through many advisors. And Ecclesiastes 4 and 13, better a poor but wise youth than an old but foolish king who no longer knows how to heed a warning. God created us to need each other. There is no team of me in God's body. Please do not miss out on emotional and mental help that you may need. Therapy or counseling may even free you up even more for God to use you. We know that all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Prayer and studying the word of God are of the utmost importance in the life of the believer. And it's Power is not diminished by seeking outside help. How to find the right therapist or counselor. You must first determine your needs. Is it for your family, your marriage, for you personally, addiction? Then you must decide how much you're willing to pay or if your insurance will cover it. Next, choose a therapist or counselor. You can ask your primary care provider for references, Google it, or ask a friend. Pray about it always. Continue to read and devote time to study. Don't be afraid to try a few different therapists or counselors until you find the right fit. Allow the Holy Spirit to influence your decision. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God, for the freedom in our minds to choose to seek help if that's what we need. We know that you did not create us to be alone. We know that you did not create us to live this life by ourselves. We ask you, God, to allow your Holy Spirit to lead us to where we need to go. If that be counseling, therapy, a small group, Lord God, we ask you to allow your Holy Spirit to lead us to the place that we need to be so that we can reach the next place in your will for our lives. We trust your way, God, and we want to be in your will. Allow us to find and to stay and to move and to live the way you called us to live. 
We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.